Sedge with Bianca Jagger racing. Tony Mojo Dumpe. Paul Janoskis the Kono. Brandon Lee, Travis Bickle, Kerry Ann Kennedy, Terry Wizzy, Harold Hope, Nutty and Cummings, the Archies, Gary Newman, Tubular Bells, the Alan Foster Project, Peter Franklin, Landon Skin and Snow. Albie Mangles, anyone can you travel? Parliament and an airline hostess, yeah. Oh, yeah. They 
Yeah, leaders of the future, men of lust for power. Today at the disco, a timid wall flowers. Why enter into girls you cannot seem to get? When you and your mates can't enter cabinet, yeah, you can be PM. Why care for PMT? You don't run up to cunt when you run the country. Liberal power brokers are just a bunch of turds. Everybody knows them rich guys pull a bird, yeah. Show me a hero who can lead the nation I'll show you a case of sexual deprivation Every single male is constantly aware There is a tyrant deep, deep, deep in his underwear Yes, absolute power can corrupt absolutely And so can the desire for physical beauty General erections vote parliaments of fools Behind democracy a dictatorship rules
Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Hitler Barassi! It was at that very bar when I had my worst trip. It was only last Saturday. I'd come to the grip with Keegan and Troy and a few other skegs. When this weird dude, he comes up to me and he says, I got some leaf the other day up at Byron, with a couple of cones. You want to try them? Now, I know I was pissed and the light's pretty bad. But I looked at this dude, and it was my dad. I was speechless. I stayed, rigid with fright. He said, Do you know Evan fucked Carly on Friday night? His hair was in dreads. His t-shirt said slam. I couldn't believe this was my old man. I'd seen him every day, hanging around with bankers. Tis and play here next Saturday, he said. They're wankers. But, but, but Dad, I stammered. You're, you're, I mean, I mean, you're not. Just then my Uncle Leroy came up. Whoa, he said. Awesome pot. I looked around this club. My sight, it was hazy. But there was Aunt Ethel, and Uncle Fred, and wife Daisy. My eyes finally focused on this host of drug takers. My whole family was here. And they turned into skaters. Got a lash, dude, said Dad. Can't afford to linger. I gotta get your mum home for a bit of stink finger. I fainted right there in a swoon on the floor. Keegan and Troy, they took me out by that very door. It was like watching a movie from end to beginning. It was like forcing Michael Jackson to fuck older women. It was all in reverse. It was a horrid contrast. It was like seeing Jennifer put the coke bottle up Johnny Nichols ass. And I woke up this morning and it was all normal again. Listen, son, said Dad. I want you home by ten. You were raving last night. Your friends are all thugs. You are so out of it, I think you're on drugs. I grabbed his hand and said, Dad, thank God it's you. And you're telling me off. Oh, Dad, I love you. Smart ass. He muttered and he went off to work. The same boring, normal, conventional jerk. So... Skaters and skegheads and surfers, be warned. Thank God for parents and teachers and policemen uniformed. Remember as you slag them off and you cuss when you're forced to do homework and at the next drug bust. I had a vision of a world even more sus. Remember, it would be worse if they acted like us.
60s that we gotta keep rewinding the clock You know the best thing about the 60s They've never heard a classic rock
call me.
Fuck them, fuck them, the lot of them. Who needs one more tortured artist whinging about the pain of being a creative genius and the heavy burden of fame? Oh, the struggles they have nightly, understanding completely, the tragedy of Brett Whiteley. Shame they're more like Glenn Wheatley. Here's an exhausted actor complaining about the shoot. We're all shoveling guano for half his fucking loot. And the life of the top fashion models isn't all parties and glamour. It ain't no fucking, so fucking, fucking fuck. I'm such a turd that I wouldn't sell Alan McPherson's dad a franger. I'm such a loser, I'd be one of the few not to bang her. I got a worse job than a sweating tism rodia. I'm more fucked than that guy stuck in Cambodia. I left my kids in the casino car park and my car in the crèche there too. But if I'm such a dickhead, what does that make you? I was checking the seals on the space shuttle. Well, until it exploded. I told Brandon Lee, don't be a fool. The gun's not really loaded. I got 10 years for showing a kid the banana in my pajama. I'm such a stiff, I applied for the job of lead singer of Nirvana. I think winning a Commonwealth gold medal is a worthwhile thing to do. But if I'm such a dickhead, what does that make you? I grew up in a suburb where the tram lines refused to go. I went to a school you ain't likely to know. I'm for the old fashioned doctrine that a prat is still a prat, even when he's got in line skates and he's wearing a baseball cap. So who's the joke really on? It's easy enough to see, cause if you're all such dickheads, what does that make me? Does fame bring forth madness? Does fame bring forth madness, or is fame to madness brought? Can you really tell Maradona? Hey, it's just a sport. Like flames to moths, or moths to flames. From whence does it begin, this insect flight of celebrity into oblivion? In the thousand, thousand, thousand homes that all look the same, in streets and courts and small alcoves, should you look for fame? From this great suburban patchwork quilt, does fla- fa- FUCK! Don't believe the hype is hype. Every skater I've ever met is a rat-faced fucking git, with their stupid ollie impossibles, board side over hip. There's a certain cocksure arrogance only a skateboard can give. They think the world's against them. Thank fucking Christ it is. Every crew member I've ever met seems to be a turd. How come it's the illiterate that know every rapper's words? Up behind the shelter sheds, black consciousness goes wrong. Malcolm X, he's from Run DMC. Martin Luther King, from a U2 song. And every teen fan I've ever met who claims not to believe the hype is full of self-righteousness and downright fucking tripe. They say how they hate the stuff that's lectured by their fathers and then they swallow whole the guff that's said about Nirvana. And every adult I've ever met that says kids' music alarms them forgets the most brainless turd of all is Johnny fucking Farnham. Adult rock is a load of dung. To paraphrase the Jesuit, give me the rock fan when young and I'll give you the adult idiot. So every kid dressed like Axl Rose, little 16-year-old wanker, underneath those rebels' clothes is a future merchant banker. And every jumped-up little prat Wearing those working men's shoes in ten years' time as the person that watches the Channel 10 News. Bash this up, you ginger. Don't you wish a comet would forget Jupiter and try for the jackpot and hit us instead? We would all be cactus, but at least there is a bright spot. At least we'd all die knowing Doug Mulry was dead. Poor old Tony Mulry. He's an alcoholic, at least that's the rumour, and here's another one. I also heard that prick Alan B got pack raped. If humans were destroyed, at least that's been done. Anyway, back to Tony M. He'd be off the bottle just about forever if we were blown to bits. We'd never have to hear word cure advertising. We could all sing, It's working as the fucker hits. Celestial bodies, time to do your duty. Knock this stinking planet for a stinking six. You will hear me screaming, Yeah, you fucking beauty. Humans are all arseholes except for the pricks.